Do you believe now? I told y'all y'all were going to see my face once more, once again this evening. And here we are. Another one. Four in one day, ladies and gentlemen. It's absolutely incredible. I don't know what you do at this point. And here's the thing. I've been preaching the list. I've been screaming about this list. You you guys are probably sick of hearing about this list. And Quinn Barnes? Not on the list. Not on the list. Six foot five, defensive lineman, 300 plus pounds. Not even on the list. We're just plucking guys out of the air now. Just because, because Coach Prime can. Mama, there goes that man. And Quinn Barnes from Alabama. Ladies and gentlemen, 6'5", 314 pounds. <clears throat> Coming out of, again, Alabama was a four-star recruit out of high school. Top 120 player, according to On3, t- uh, top 12 defensive lineman when he coming out of high school. He's a redshirt sophomore, so he's only played only been in Alabama for, for a little bit now. Has some, basically, two years, two to three years of eligibility left. Again, another big part of what I was talking about earlier, about how he's not just getting plug and chug guys. He's getting guys that have a future at Colorado, right? We're looking to build and be competitive for years, years to come. That's what Coach Prime, in my opinion, is stating with these big-time pickups right here. Doesn't have much data behind him at Alabama, but you got to know Alabama and the amount of studs and star-studded talent they have there. They've got four and five stars galore there. You really got to pluck and chug to get through, and most likely, unless you're just him, right? You're going to wait a year or two, maybe sometimes three, <clears throat> before you see the football field. And now, because of the transfer portal, right, you're not going to have that same type of ability teams aren't gonna have the same type of ability just to hang on and stack up talent just like this one here in Anquin Barnes and don't forget Charles Kelly defensive uh coordinator for Colorado was at Alabama so you got to think that there's probably a little bit of a connection there on able to pull out a few guys here there when they need it obviously has a little bit of connection so I see some people in the comments saying it's chemistry it's communication it's this it's that look if you go look at the team they've got thus far they've got two brothers coming in from Kentucky I mean they play together He's got a slew of guys from Indiana coming together, a slew of guys from Houston coming in together. So he's got pods of young men coming from schools coming together. Yes, they're different pods, but it's not like we're just plucking, plucking, plucking. We're scooping, 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 and then putting it together. So it's speaking, too, you want to talk about communication. I, don't forget, I think I just forgot uh, the fifth team in the country, FSU, right now. Go take a look at their team. Their entire starting lineup was a transfer portal pickup. None of those guys were at FSU. And grew their way there. Undefeated this past season. Now, didn't make the playoffs, but undefeated nonetheless. And damn near 90% of their roster was all transfer guys. So the guys that are in the comments, the haters, they continue to keep coming back, which is ironic because it's like, if you hate it so much, you, you, what's your obsession with it, right? I mean, you keep coming back. I don't, I don't get it. Now, this is interesting. I took a look at the 247. They have not updated it to see how it sits with the overall ranking, which we talked about in the previous video with the quarterback commit. Uh, Walter Taylor from Vanderbilt. Now, they are sitting in second on 247 now behind Ole Miss. Ole Miss has absolutely been cooking in the transfer portal, and it's it's starting to show there. So they are behind them currently um, on 247. As for on three, I haven't taken a look at the updated list for them on on three. Currently still sitting in second right above Ole Miss and right behind Louisville still. So with 15 uh, commits coming in, Look, it's not that big of a deal. Again, just kind of something to inter- to, to kind of keep an eye on, and it's, it's interesting to watch. Ole Miss doesn't have as many commits, but their quality is through the roof, almost an average of 90 uh, per player that is coming in. They've got the number one edge, number one linebacker that's committed to them, and it looks like they're about to land the number one offensive lineman in the transfer portal to Ole Miss in this next season. So Lane Kiffin and the boys out there, they're cooking. But uh, look, Colorado out there doing some great things. I had a feeling we would get one more tonight. They did. Now, I think that could be the close for tonight. Could be the close, could be the nightcap of the evening. But we've got Monday, Tuesday, and then, of course, signing day Wednesday, which we're going to be hot on the tail Wednesday. I expect that to be a very busy day. Um, But could we see a few more trickle in over the next few days? You got to think so. So be sure to smash the like button, subscribe, and, of course, turn the bell on. We just hit 5,000 subs. Thank you to everybody who subscribed. Much appreciated. On to the next one, boys. See ya.